Hi guys, Jason Lucas here uh, with another portable AC build. Uh, this one has four distinct advantages over any of the others that I've made and over most of them that are out there right now. Uh, the first one is it's really easy to make. Uh, I thought it was going to be intimidating or it was intimidating at first. And, uh, but the only complicated part is once I've got this copper uh, put in there, the rest of it was super simple. I mean, I put this thing together in maybe an hour and a half. So it's super easy to put together. Uh, the next thing is it, the ice lasts much longer in this because you're not blowing your wind over the ice. So I had this going for three days straight. And after the end of three days, I still had a little bit of ice left in the, in the cooler. Um, the second thing, or the third thing, is that it puts no humidity in the air. Because of the way it's designed, and, and I'll show you as I build it, the way uh, the water goes through the, the coals here, so there's no wind blowing across the ice and putting it back into the air. So you don't get any humidity out of this thing, which makes it great for you know, people who live in, in high humidity climates. Um, and then the last thing is just the versatility of it because uh, normally you'll have these things built in a cooler and you set your cooler wherever you want. Nice thing about this is the only thing the cooler does is hold your ice and water and then you pump your cold water, your ice cold water, up through the coals, through this tubing here. So that means your actual fan, you can take it and set it anywhere else that you want it to be. And you can have your cooler on the, on the floor and you can set this, I think the air, the water pump I have in here will pump up to uh, five feet. And I'll put a link in the description with the water pump and all these parts, everything that I've used. There'll be a list of supplies in the description below. But uh, yeah, you can put this, it has like a five foot rise, the water pump does. So you can put this up to five foot away from the cooler. And uh, as you can see, there's enough tubing to be able to do that. And uh, with that being said, let me show you how I made it. These are the items you're going to need and I put a supply list in the description below with links to be able to get these products. Now the tube that the fan is going to blow the air through is a four inch pipe. So I got a three inch pipe to be able to coil the copper around the pipe so that it would easily slide inside of the four inch pipe. Now you don't have to do this, you can do it by hand. You don't have to spend the money on the three inch tube but it made it a lot easier to be able to fit it in the four inch tube. If you have trouble getting your fitting onto the copper tube, it might be because your copper is warped just a little bit. So all you have to do is take a crescent wrench and uh, clamp it down tight on the copper and spin it around several times and that will straighten out your copper so that you can easily get the fitting on. When you go to place your fittings on the copper, just they might be a little bit tighter with this smaller size copper tubing, but when you go to put it on there, don't put your hand over it to press it on because if the copper slides through, it can cut the palm of your hand. So if you're having to push it on a little bit and it's hard, just put a towel or something between your hand and the copper. When you drill your hole into the black pipe and into your cooler, you're gonna use a 5 8 inch bit and you're also gonna use a quarter inch bit for the smaller tubing.
When you're putting your fan and your pipe together, just drill some pilot holes and then put the screws in there to secure the pipe to the fan. And then I just used a one by eight piece of wood uh, about the same length as the fan and the tube to be able to mount it to. And that's as simple as in the back, you just put your screw holes in. And then in the front where the tube goes down, I drilled a pilot hole and put a long two and a half inch screw in there to support the front side of it. And in the final step, just put your water pump into the cooler, put enough water to cover that water pump. And then you're gonna run your hoses into the cooler. And the hose that has to return you're gonna leave it just above the, the ice and the water line so that the water can run back in freely. And then of course, you know, your main hose that feeds it, you're gonna attach that to your water pump. 